Hi everyone, I'm super excited today to show you how to make a copycat drumstick ice cream pie. You know those drumsticks that we love to eat in the summertime? We still do here in this house. I'm going to take the ingredients that make that and I'm going to put it into an ice cream pie. We've got peanuts, we've got sugar cones, we've got butter, chocolate chips, we've got a chocolate shell topping, ice cream, and some heavy whipping cream or half and half, as in my case here. Okay, we're going to put this all together in a nine inch pie plate. We're going to freeze this and it's going to be so delicious, cool, refreshing for these summer hot days before summer ends. First thing we're going to do is turn these sugar cones into the crust. Now you want to make sure that you're using the sugar cones and not just the regular ice cream cones. There's 12 of them in this box and so what we're going to do is place these into a food processor that I have right here and then we're going to pulse those until they're a fine crumb. Now I'm just going to crush these up a little bit so we can get the top on. That's what we're looking for right here. We're going to place this into a bowl. I've got six tablespoons of butter that I'm going to melt. We're going to pour that into our sugar cone crumbs. And then we're just going to mix it all together with a fork. I'm using a nine inch deep dish pie plate. I'm going to spray the bottom and the sides. We're going to take our crumb mixture, pour it into our pie plate. Using a fork, I'm just going to press the crumb mixture down on the bottom and up to the sides very firmly. Right, you just want it to go up about a quarter of an inch to half of an inch to the sides. Just like that. I'm going to place this in the freezer for 30 minutes. And that will help set up the crust. Over medium heat, we're going to add half a cup of heavy whipping cream to a small saucepan. We're going to bring that to a simmer. As soon as it comes to a light boil, which we have going on right here, we're going to go ahead and turn off the heat and remove it from the burner. To a small bowl, I have half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, or you can use dark chocolate chips. I'm going to pour my warmed up heavy whipping cream into it. Just going to whisk this all together until the chocolate chips melt. We're going to go ahead and let this sit here and cool for five minutes. After the five minutes, we are going to bring back our frozen pie crust. We're going to pour in the chocolate mixture. We're going to roll it to cover the crust. We're going to place this back in the freezer for 30 minutes. Now while this is chilling in the freezer, we're going to go ahead and pull out the ice cream that we can get it to room temperature. Now we pulled the pie plate out of the freezer. Now the chocolate has set and it's a little bit wet right here and that's totally fine. Our ice cream is going to be like almost melted, which is what we're looking for. Now you're looking at about one quart of ice cream to fill this. You don't have to go up that much. Okay, as much as you need to, but we don't want to go over the edge of our pie plate here because we still have another layer to put on top. So I'm just going to take the really, really soft stuff. We're going to dabble it all over the pie. We don't want to smear this 
because it might pull up the chocolate and we don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna move the ice cream down. We're using the Bluebell ice cream because we love Bluebell vanilla ice cream. We're not affiliated <laughs> with them at all. Such a creamy, buttery flavor. Now, if you wanna use chocolate because you like those chocolate cones, that's totally fine. I think the two spooner here will work. There we go. I'm going around the edge and leaving that crust open. Now you want to do this as quickly as possible so that we can get this back in the freezer to freeze up again. Yep, there's several layers and each layer has to be frozen before you can start the next layer. I'm going to put some extra right on the top and then I'm just going to push it down. We want to get that mounded shape at the top. You know how those drumsticks are mounted? Yep, that's what we're looking for. All right, you guessed it, back in the freezer for 30 minutes so that that ice cream sets up. It may take longer, you just need to check it and make sure that it's not wet before we put the next layer on. Now I've pulled the ice cream pie out of the freezer. The ice cream is set up really good. Now I have this Magic Shell Chocolate Fudge. And since we mounded our ice cream, we're gonna pour this Actually, you need to shake it like for 20 seconds. Is I'm going to pour this right onto the center here and then just start swirling it until we cover the ice cream with this chocolate shell. And then, now I'm going to tell you this really quick. Now, after we do that, I'm going to go ahead and place some crushed peanuts on top of the chocolate. This will set really quick because it's going to be on that cold ice cream. So I want those peanuts on top so it sets into the chocolate here. All right, let's go ahead and start doing this. And you know, we all like those peanuts on top of the drumsticks. That's the best part. <laughs> no, the bottom of the cone is the best part. Oh, the last little piece with the chocolate in it? Yep, that's the best part. There we go. A copycat version of a drumstick summer treat. Pie. Ice cream pie. So we're going to place this in the freezer. Now I'm going to put it in there overnight. That way it gets really solid and firm and it'll be ready for us to enjoy the next day. All right, there's my pie. This is what happens when you leave it overnight and you don't tell people that you haven't finished the video yet. <laughs> they think it was already over. So, I got me a piece right here, and I am going to try it for you. Look at that. Do you see the layers? It's nice and set up. I'm telling you, it's worth it overnight. Now, if you don't leave it overnight and you leave it a couple of hours, it's going to be kind of still soft, all right? So, definitely leave it overnight. I'm going to go in for a bite. Mmm. That definitely tastes like that drumstick summertime treat that we all like. Mm. The cone down on the bottom has a nice crunch. And we have the chocolate two layers, the peanuts and that ice cream. Oh, they all go together so well. Obviously, my family dug into it before I even knew about it. All right, look, I can't help it. You never <laughs> said. I, I didn't I didn't say so they didn't know that was happening but anyway that's okay they really enjoyed it and they loved that dessert so the rest of that pie will be gone here in just a few minutes for their second serving today all right y'all give me a thumbs up on this one comment down below what you think and also if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted i'm also over there on facebook and go over there and check me out and share this video because you know you're, a lot of your friends and family are going to want to make this one and i'm on www.catherinesplates.com where you can find this one and many more recipes i will see you on the next episode